Okay, we're going to do another problem where we have two sides in a given angle. Now, in the previous video, I went ahead and showed how it's possible to have more than one solution. We also showed in the previous video how you could have no solution. So, we want to check this out now and do this particular problem. We notice that the first question says number of solutions. We want to find that. So, on a test, you're probably going to have a question that has this, and you may or may not use all the blanks that are here. We don't, we don't know. So by looking at the triangle, we're not going to know for sure how many solutions it has until we actually do the math uh, and try it out. So we're going to do our known ratio first. We have 40 degrees and a side opposite of that. We're going to do sine of 40 degrees over 4 is going to equal, uh, we only have enough information to solve for uh, angle C. So we're going to do sine C over uh, 3. We're going to cross multiply. And uh, in the previous video, I showed how to cross multiply, but for the sake of this video and the future ones, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you what sine C is equal to by solving for it directly. So sine C is going to be 3 sine 40 over 4. If I put this into the calculator, sine C is going to be 0.4821 with some more decimals. So first of all, what that's going to tell me is I know that I, at least I'm going to have one solution because if this number was again not between negative 1 and 1. If it was bigger than 1 or less than negative 1, that would tell me that I'm not going to get any solutions out of that. So I would go ahead and put a 0 and I can just cross out all the blanks and then that would be it. But this one tells me at least I'm going to have one solution. I don't know from this whether I have one or two solutions, but I know I at least have uh, one solution. When you do your, the inverse in your calculator, your calculator is always going to give you again uh, the one solution only. So that's the first one, 28.82. It always will give you a solution in the first quadrant. But we know from a previous video uh, that your sign is positive in both the first and the second quadrant, which means we always have to find out the secondary solution automatically whenever you do these problems. We're going to subtract 28.82. We're going to get our secondary solution, 151.18. Uh, so here's our two solutions. C1 is 28.82. The second one is 151.18. Now let's talk about the, the secondary solution. Notice that I already have a 40 degrees inside that triangle. If for some reason this was really equal to 151.18, then I wouldn't really have a triangle there because I have 150 plus 40, that gives me an, uh, an angle that's more than 180. That's not possible. Triangles can only have a maximum or have an equal value of 180 degrees only. So therefore, I know that this is not going to be a, a possible solution, so therefore I know I should only have one solution here. So again, just to repeat that, here's how you can tell whether you have one or two solutions. When you find your secondary solution, you're going to add it to the angle that's already in the triangle already. If when you add those together, if your result ends up being more than 180, then you know for sure that that's not going to be a solution, so therefore we can cross that one out. So therefore I know that there's only going to be one solution on this particular problem. So therefore I don't need any of these other blanks because I only get one solution. But I still have to find out my other answers here, so I still want to find the measurement angle A. So here I'm going to go ahead and subtract, I know this is, I'll go ahead and label this as 28.82. This one is going to be 180 minus 40 minus 28.82. So if you subtract all that, what you're going to get is 111.18, and I'll put that here, 111.18. So now I have all the angles in my triangle complete. Now that I have these complete, uh, the last thing I want to do now is solve for uh, side A, A1. So what we'll do is we'll do another one of these. Uh, Ratio setups here, we'll just sine 40 over 4 using the law of sines. If, we wanna, if I want to solve for A, which is actually going to be this one right here, i got to use 111.18, the angle that's opposite the side I'm trying to solve for. So I'm going to do that. So sine of 111.18 divided by A1. I'm going to solve for A1 directly here. So I'm going to do 4 sine 111.18, divide that uh, by sine 40. Okay, so if I do all that, that's going to give me my A1, and that's going to give me 5.8 if I put that into the calculator. So again, what I did was I just did some cross-multiplying on that uh, in order to get 5.8. So that's going to be my side right here, 5.8. So now I can go ahead and put that in, 5.8 here. I have all the sides and all the angles found, so my triangle now is solved. We only have one solution, one solution on this one, again, because 151 added to 40 was more than 180.